Hello friends, welcome again to another session on Gems of Geometry, continuing with our trend. Uh, we are going to discuss another very important result here. So the result is that the uh, if you have a triangle ABC and AD is one of the altitudes, then the length AD will be equal to B times C divided by 2R, where R is the circumradius of the triangle ABC. Okay. So AD, as you can see here, AD, I have shown the value also. In this case, it is 5.88. B is the side opposite to angle B, B here, B. This is angle, this is side C. So hence, AD will be equal to B times C divided by twice of R. R is the circumradius. So what we'll do is we'll just change the position of C, let's say, and you can now see that whatever is the position of C, we can calculate the value of A, B, right? So it's very much possible. So here it is. So you can you can see if even if I change the position of B, it remains the same, correct? Or A, so hardly matters, right? So hence you'll get the same value, right? So AD length of the hypotenuse or oh sorry length of the altitude is equal to uh, length of the adjacent sides product of the adjacent sides right so for example ad is the altitude so in the adjacent sides in this case will be c and b so product of these two sides divided by two times the circumradius that's what is the theorem let's try to prove this so let's prove this theorem now so if you can see in triangle a b d so a b and d this triangle a b d and a a dash c so a a dash c if you see both these triangles are similar why because first of all a d b angle a d b you can see here a d b is 90 degrees and a c a dash will also be 90 degrees why because a o a o uh, a dash happens to be the diameter and diameter subtends an angle 90 degree at any point in the circle right so this we know so since both of them are 90 degrees also a b d or rather a b c which are same a again a b d which is equal to a b c this angle will be equal to a a dash c right a a dash c because a c being the same chord so it is subtending two angles at point b and a dash right so hence what will happen these two angles are also equal so if these two angles are equal then what happens uh the two the two triangles will be similar by a a criteria a, a similarity criteria so hence their corresponding sides must be proportional isn't it so hence a d this a d upon the altitude here AC. So AD upon AC will be equal to AB upon A, A dash, right? That's what I have written here, right? So corresponding parts of similar triangles. So AD is written as it is, but AC was B. You can see AC is B. Similarly, AB was C and A, A dash clearly diameter, so 2R. So clearly by cross multiplying, you can see AD is BC upon 2R. Right, this is what we intended to prove. That means uh, we got this result that altitude length will be equal to product of the adjacent sides. You can see adjacent sides B and C here, and divided by twice the circumradius. Right, so any altitude uh, can be expressed as the product of the two sides and the diameter or the twice the circumradius. That's the proof for the theorem. 